finally back in KL. What's up, guys? It's a new day. Not really a day anymore. It's uh, it's 8:30 p.m. Asher is here. Asher, say hi. Hi. I'm actually on the way to the airport. Guess where I'm going? Asher, where am I going? Going back home. Yeah, man. I'm going back home to Malaysia, man. Malaysia. And the best part is none of my friends knows, so I'm gonna I'm gonna surprise them. So stay tuned. I'm late for my Uber. Gotta go. See you guys in the airport. All right. Hey, dude. See ya man. Ciao. See ya. Alright, oh, thanks have for a sending me off. See ya. Peace. Ciao. Alright, thank you so much. Five stars for you, man. Thank you. Same right, to you. See ya. Have a lovely trip. Thank you. See ya. Bye bye. So, I just checked in. The queue was super long, man. I think I'm almost late for my flight. It's my first time flying alone. Pretty nervous. I mean, I fly a lot of times, but this is my first time flying alone. So, I hope I'm not late for my first flight. Thank you, just the boarding card to go straight through. Finally, getting on board. The gate got delayed. So now, finally going to the airplane. Let's get Finally in the plane, it's the whole time in the plane I was just editing my vlog and now it's 6 a.m. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. Going back to my seat now to catch up on some sleep. I'll see you guys back in KL. Finally back in KL! The flight is really tiring and I didn't get much sleep. I end up having a sore neck. But it's all good. I still enjoyed my flight. I'm finally back home at least. I miss this place. Feels good to be home. I'm trying to speak Malay to my Uber driver. But the thing is, my Malay has been super rusty after three months of not using it. Sekarang saya tak boleh cakap tak tahu bagaimana cakap bahasa Malay you lah. Nanti makan nasi lemak okey lah. Nanti sudah makan nasi lemak. Tak sudah makan? Ah, tapi tak sudah apa? Finally back home, and the first thing I realized is my car is missing. Yo, is everyone still asleep here? Welcome to my. Yo, what is this doing here? All right, all right, all right. Finally back in my room, man. As you can see, I'm sweating already. I gotta get used to Malaysia weather. What in the world? So this is my first time seeing my room in three months, and my room has changed. A lot. I'm not even kidding, man. It's so empty now, my room. Look. Let me just quickly go through five things that changed. Number one, this is not supposed to be here. This is not supposed to be here as well. Once you come in, it's supposed to be empty. I used to have a drum set here, but not anymore. And once you come in, this is where I have my TV, my PS4, my entertainment side is always here. And this is where I do my work. And I have a pet fish. As you can see now, my table is completely empty. So where's my fish? My fish died a um, few weeks after I left to Melbourne. No choice, they have to clear my fish out. And now my TV has swapped over here with, you know, whatever. Yeah, they were all supposed to be there, but then now they're all here now. Which I don't mind, but the thing is, I'm not used to my room. It's so empty. All right, let's check out. Ah, fresh air. Oh yeah, and another big change is my balcony. I have a table here, and now it's gone. I have a empty balcony. Oh, and my neighbor's house is fully built. It's so hot, man, dude, this is crazy. I feel like someone just robbed my room. Look at this, it's so empty now. 
What? Ah, oh, goddamn. Oh. None of my friends know that I'm back, so the surprise is still going on. It's currently 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that nobody's awake at this time, so probably just gonna unpack my stuff and just chill. See you guys later. What could be better than coming home to your favorite noodle? Amazing. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> What's up, guys? So I just took a quick nap and I just showered so now I'm ready to head out so I'll be going to the mall and surprise my friend I haven't had the whole surprise planned out yet so I'm just gonna improvise as we go but at the moment I'm just gonna surprise my friends one by one and I will just improvise along the way alright so I guess I'll see you guys in a bit let's go So if there's one thing I really miss ever since I left for Melbourne is driving. I really miss driving here, man. And I'm fortunate enough that the day that I land, which is today, is a public holiday, so the road is pretty empty. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be doing that. I just wanted to show you guys. So I guess that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the mall. Is up, yo! <laughs> All right, have a safe flight back. Have a good time here. I'll see you. So that was my friend Brian and Tan Leung. So what I did was I told Tan Leung that I was coming back and I had and I asked him to help me plan how do I surprise them. So Brian was our first target. I wanted to surprise Brian first and then from there we can surprise the rest. It is easier. So I just met up with Brian and Tan Leung and now they just left. So we're gonna meet the rest later tonight. So for now I'm just gonna walk around and see what are the changes in the mall. I haven't been here for quite a while so I'm just gonna walk around and see you guys in a bit. Alright so I'm finally back at home. It's 9 p.m. now. Gonna wait for Brian to come pick me up and then we're gonna surprise the rest. Alright, Brian is here. Brian picked me up. We're finally on the way to surprise another person. The plan isn't going very well. Not everyone is free at the moment, so we're kind of stuck in between of who to surprise first right now. So we have Harry on the line updating the status. He knows what's going on. Hi, Harry. Yo, what's up? Alright, we're now at Ben's place. So Ben, if you're watching this, you're in the next tag. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna hide Brian. Brian is gonna meet up okay. with surprise Ben. Brian is gonna meet Ben, and then Ben is gonna FaceTime me, but I'll be hiding, and then yeah, I'll just surprise him from then. So excited. Are you excited, bro? That's how we make it. <laughs> we're gonna make it, man. We're gonna make we're things gonna happen. Make it, gonna make it. So this is where we're gonna be. It's a little bit dark, but... That's the main point. He won't be able to see us. You can clearly see his car coming. So by the time he comes in, I'm just gonna run away. Alright, that's him. I see you, Ben. I see you. So, Brian is gonna go find him now. And I'm on the way to hide. I'm gonna hide. And then they're gonna FaceTime me. And I'm just gonna creep up behind them. Yeah. So excited. If you guys can see, I'm sweating like a mad cow right now. I'm crawling here and there just to avoid being seen. I'm waiting for the green light. Alright, so he's calling me now. Hey, yo! yo. What's up? Say hi. Hey. Hey. Where are you guys again? At my swimming pool, man. Swimming pool? Yeah. Your condo swimming pool? Can you like Wait. make some noise? Are you fucking serious, sir? Dude! Are you? Are you? Yo, what's up? What's up, man? What's up? I told you. Did it. Well, that's surprise, right? Seriously. Right, no clue, right? We did it! Yo, say hi. Say hi. Hi. Yo, what's up? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So I have Ben and Brian to help me set up my next target. Lawrence, you're next on the list. Right now I'm gonna hide here. Probably gonna hide here and see. And I hope he doesn't find me. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go to the toilet as well.
Why did you come into the toilet, man? What a pee, bro. You ruined the surprise. Where's Harry, bro? Nah, Harry's not here, man. Harry's still in Australia. Why? I was this close. We failed. Lauren, say hi. Where's the camera? Say this hi. One, right? yeah. Hi, guys. We failed. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> we failed. All right. A little bit of an update. I'm super disappointed because <laughs> we failed. It didn't work out as as planned. For Lawrence, it didn't work out that good. And Jeremy, he literally just came in and surprised us instead. We failed. How's it going guys? So it's the next day now. Last night we ended things pretty late. I just crashed out the minute I reached home. I was super exhausted. So we're gonna continue the surprise on Derek and Ethan today. Derek cool, you're next on the list. Alright guys, so, so I'm, I'm in my car now. Derek and Lawrence is in that restaurant right there. So I'm just waiting for the green light. I'm waiting for Lawrence to call me on FaceTime and then I'm just gonna sneak up behind them. Calling Derek instead. Yo! Hey, Yo, wait. Maka and I come and accompany him in Timmy. We were just talking about the, the guy, the crazy guy that chased you to check out your face. Like, speaking of the devil, wait. I want to tell you guys something, but then I'm in my friend's car now. Yeah, I'm in my friend's car now. I'm, I just let me come down for a bit. Okay. What you want to tell us, bro? What's your so, what's your car? Sure, uh, I, I go back to my house. I cannot sleep at yesterday. Hey, bro, can you like look around? We successfully surprised Derek and now we're at Lawrence's place. And look at this, they have a freaking trampoline! Can, can. I just try to get this shit, man. Yeah, try it, try it. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> nope. Oh. oh! Not up in here! <laughs> Lawrence, yo, can you like pull around your house? It's a living room. Living room? Okay. Pretty cool. Yo, this is your room, bruh. The first thing I asked him was, dude, I don't even know where to chill. I don't know whether to chill in his room with all these cool pictures. I don't know whether to chill in his room or actually in the living room because both, both places are too cool. So he, de so he designed his own room and I'm really, really proud of him. Lawrence, you did a great job in designing your house, man. I might even hire you to be my interior designer next time in the future. Lawrence, you got a very nice place. Thanks, man. Yes. So now, Ethan is here. He, Ethan is outside the living room. I'm in the room now. Right now, I'm waiting for a green light. Then I'm waiting for someone to FaceTime me, and then I'm gonna surprise Ethan from behind. Once again, I'm super excited, super nervous. I hope it works out. All right. So Ethan's calling me now. Yo. Say hi to camera, man. Where you at? Where you at? So has he told you what happened yet? No, he didn't tell me anything man. It's okay lah, I tell you myself lah. Okay, but uh, just give me one, three seconds. I want you guys to wish my friend Ethan a happy birthday. His birthday was two days ago and I was late. I was I rushed back for you man and you dragged me for two days. I was surprised you for like how many days ago? What is what is this? Really nigga. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Say hi, say hi. What's up man? What's up guys? Hi, hi. Don. 
I kind of predicted this when, when you said something about like it's a life or death matter. I was like, what's happening? Like, he didn't want to tell me shit. He didn't want to tell me shit. So I was like, please don't tell me Kenny's here. Might not be something good. So I was like, shit, like, maybe it's a bad news. Then I came here, like, what the? <laughs> No man, impossible, impossible. Oh, you're not, you're not that smart. I don't uh, believe you. I was quite. I thought like group chats, like you know. That's the plan, bro. That's the plan. It's all planned. So you were, go, you were all just lying on the group chat. <laughs> it was all oh, a lie. Even the story, everything was a lie. Yeah, even though I didn't reply, I was just reading like, oh shit. Okay, Kenny's not gonna be here. So is Harry? Is, is Harry here? Like, Yo, everyone that I surprised, everyone, everyone asked me the same thing. Is Harry here? Harry, where are you, man? Harry. Get a chance. Get a chance. You're supposed to be here, Harry. Come on. Yeah.